Hey everyone, this is Project SBC, and today I'd like to test some games with my GTX 1650 and GPD Win Max. We are going to be using an external display this time, 1080p. It's actually going to go to my Elgato capture card, which is going to output to this monitor over here. The games we're going to test are Apex Legends, GTA 5, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and Doom 2016. First up, we have Apex Legends, 1080p, medium to high settings. You can see we're well above 60 frames a second. I have no doubt in an actual match that this would stay above 60 frames a second. And it is very playable, 1080p. There's a sentinel over here. Here we have Doom 2016, 1080p, 100% resolution, and medium settings. We're getting consistent 80 plus FPS all the time. You'll notice I'm using the OpenGL backend, not the Vulkan. I did have some trouble with the Vulkan. I was getting higher highs, but I was also getting lower lows with dips below 60 frames a second. There might be some optimization or a different driver I need to use to get that to work properly. But for the sake of the video, you can see at least OpenGL, you can get about 80 frames a second. Here we have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. It's 1080p, medium to low settings. We're at an average of 60 to 70 frames a second, depending on how much action's on the scene. It is very playable with an eGPU. I did try this without an eGPU, and even at 480p, with all of the settings turned down, thanks to Low Spec Gamer, we were still getting around 15 to 25 frames a second, and it was not consistent. But with an eGPU, this game is 100% playable. And I did forget to patch the sound into the Elgato capture card, so for the remainder of this clip, we don't have any sound. Last up we have the GTA 5 benchmark. This is 1080p, medium to low settings. We still have a lot of room to turn these settings up a bit and still keep an above 60 frames a second gameplay. Now you may ask why I have it set to medium low quality. Well, 
The embarrassing story behind that is I couldn't get above 30 frames a second on my eGPU and I couldn't figure out why. I turned off all the settings that I could, still couldn't get above 30 until I turned off the frame lock setting. Yes, I had it set to 30 frames a second and I didn't realize it. This was a subsequent run. And there you have it, the GTX 1650 performance with the GPD Win Max. Together these make a nice, compact, powerful combo. Definitely a 1080p, 60 frames per second setup. I love how the GPD Win Max is portable, it's compact, you can play stuff on its own without any additional accessories. But then when you bring it back home and you plug it into an eGPU, you can bring out the full potential of the i5 processor. That's it for this video. I'm still working on the last few revisions of the 3D printed case for the eGPU, and I'm also working on the dock for the GPD Win Max, the updated one. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and thanks for watching.